Hello, a YouTube, and a welcome to another monumental ranked joust video. Uh, today we are doing the all solo queue, and I figured that perhaps it's time to play a few uh, carry characters. Because we've been doing a whole lot of these frontline guys, which has made sense since we made that uh, the old warrior uh, guide video, but... Now I think it's time to break out some of these damage dealers, especially as we've been releasing some, uh, some carry guides. I think we did the, the hunter one last week, right? So, gotta break out the Uller now. Oh, man, they picked AMC, dude. This is terrible. I can't hit an axe on this guy. All right, well, AMC, the most common thing to put with an AMC is a double guardian, right? But what is going to be really annoying for our team comp? Let's see. Here are the bans, just in case you guys are curious. Uh, they banned Achilles. I'm going to ban, like, unkillable tanks to me. So I'm going to ban, like, Sobek's really tough for me to kill. Kind of hard. And maybe I'll ban some Jing Chen action or Kabraken. These guys would do really well with either one. We'd actually do really well with Kabraken ourselves. So, hmm. I'm going to ban Jing, because Jing, okay, both, okay, here's the thing. So Jing, Kabraken, are both bad for Kulu. <laughs> but I think us having Kabraken would be better than us having Jing. I, that's the weird part is I'm pretty sure, like, both teams are trying to pick the same gods, ideally, here. Like, double guardian hunter type of thing. Like, Kabraken, really good matchup against Kulu, really good matchup against AMC. Really good matchup against Charon. And Jing Chen is kind of the same thing. He's got good matchups across the board. Because Kabraken traps the Kulu. Kabraken traps the Charon. Kabraken traps the AMC. Like, it's really... Like, wall got characters are very good against Kulu. Who is a character that's kind of gaining some popularity right now. A lot of popularity because of his uh, recent change to his two. And, like, when he ults... He can't pop, like, Phantom Shell or anything, so if you put him behind, like, the Amir Wall or a Kabrakan ult, makes his life a, life a bit tougher. Kind of like this game's going to be a bit tougher for me, because they have a freaking AMC moving at 5 million miles an hour. So I'm going to have to trust my tanks to kill that guy. Oh, dude, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. I was thinking about banning Hercules, actually. Like, very, very small part of me wanted to ban Hercules. Because that character is actually really annoying for me to deal with in particular. I could actually go a Breastplate this game if I wanted to. They do have Double Fizz. And Breastplate fits into my build kind of perfectly. Because my build right now is Bluestone, Jotun's, Transcendence, Fail Not, Titan's Bane, Heartseeker. And I could just easily replace that Fail Not with a Breastplate. And it would be a really feels-good item. It would make a lot of sense, too, because they have Double Fizz. What do you guys think? Should I do that? Or is that just grief to my damage? Well, if it isn't... Boca. We got a stacker queue here, fellas. Triple Grandmasters Jast on the other team. One on my team. We got a Masters. I think I'm like one game off of GM right now on this account, so. I think this is a relatively decent game, wouldn't you say? Alright, so. As the Hunter Guide stated, we're going to... Slack a bit on the old, um, 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 whatchamacallit, what are we slacking on? The potions, not the potions, definitely getting a lot of potions. We're slacking on the transcendence rush, which is something you used to do, right? Zenobia, thanks for the follow. We're just going to go for a straight up Jotun's first item here. Transcendence. Would have been first in seasons past, but now that's a bit easier to stack it. And I just want more early presence. I'm going to go Jotun's here. So Hercules and Karen are going to be very annoying for me. I'm just going to have to trust that my Guardians are going to be able to weather the storm there. It's going to be a tough one for sure because their early is a bit better than ours. I really want the blue buff, but I think these Guardians are pretty accustomed to getting them. So Especially like this guy just used his entire freaking mana bar on it, so... I'm gonna, you know, let him have it. <laughs> kind of wish I didn't use my one there. No, I don't have it for the wave. Alright. 
Just gotta clear the wave. Clear these archers, they do the most damage. And we're just playing a very chill game right now. Very, very chill. Don't want to give up anything. Don't want to use too many resources. Just want to save my abilities for the wave if I can. Like, AMC just used his three on the wave. Or his wave to poke. There's three to poke. God, dude, I'm all sorts of discombobulated this morning. Alright, so we got this. Maybe we can get this. Trying to save resources once again. Man, my one is down for half a second, dude. Hit him with the curses. Okay. He's trying to deal poke and use as few resources as possible. Unless they're the kill to be had. While also clearing this wave. It's a tough balance. We jump in. Oh. He's level 5. <laughs> well, they're going to be level 5. I think I just take this opportunity to back. About 20 seconds and then we're out. Oh. Well, that's terrible. Well, that's Garon ult. MC ulted, but he picked it up, so that'll be up in a little bit. Okay. Maybe try for a steal here. Dang. That was actually really close, but... Close, but no cigar, as the kids say. Okay. Might be able to get something. God, he's fast, man. Alright. I think their blue might be up in a second. Fortunately, I had to use my beads there. But at least I lived. So I'm going to be up for a bit. Okay, so I guess I'll just back and get Jotun's. Unfortunate timing. Through the speed buff. Alright, so now we got a 20% CDR spike, which is really big for me. And Transcendence next. So this will give me a lot more early presence here. If they mess up, much higher chance I'll be able to punish them with this 20% CDR. Especially if they mess up multiple times. Or like, if a Charon dashes in, for example, I might be able to get two casts of abilities out before he's able to get away. Okay, gotta watch myself. They don't have any blinks, so... Even without B, they should be able to properly position myself. But I do gotta be careful about, you know, like, if I jump in or something. Get up some hives here. I had to switch to Axe Dance just in case that the pull did hit the Kulu there. I could peel for him pretty easily. I'd love to contest these, but... Kinda... You know, brutal. Alright, just focus on wave clear. We'll avoid getting hit by that. Out. The purple is up. I can't really contest that super easy. Let's poke this guy a little bit. Got nothing better to do. Besides my back camp. Which I really do want to get, actually. Alright. Just really want to get that. Any farm I can get is what we're looking for. Couldn't really contest the purple alone, unfortunately. Good point of my two here. Let's see if I can't get these small guys. Okay, get the small ones. Then we'll just play for a three. Man, I didn't get it again. <laughs> I don't do enough damage here. Ooh. That's too bad. That's too bad. What's up, Boca? My rival! <laughs> Alright. Okay. I just want to hit the wave, man. Alright. Or not. These guys are sick with it. Dude, we are actually sick! Okay! 
So yeah, like I said, just saving my resources for when I can actually get kills. Purple buff is down. We can get this rock real fast. And then back for our buffs. Two for attack speed. And yeah, that's all I'm doing is I'm just playing off CC. I'm gonna not buy a chalice yet. I do want to buy a chalice at some point. The speed buff. Oh. Blue is up. I should be taking the speed from now on, but. I'll take speed after this, I think. Or red if I can get my hands on it. I just need to make sure I need to have enough mana for these fights. Because my priority is wanting the wave and then like just having all my abilities ready for everything else. I could just use my three for poke, but I don't really get anything out of it at this stage. Because they just don't heal it up too much because they don't really hit very hard. I deal some damage, but with my like if I just three DMC right now, for example. But he's probably got points in his, uh, his hive, so he's got like 50 HP 5. Alright, okay. I'm gonna help out out of me. The other guy lost his beads, so. I'll take that. Buffs are spawning. This is really awkward for me because I want to back for trans, but I can't. I need to save this guy, too. Alright, we peeled for him. I want to clear the wave first. I'll probably wave clear and then run over there if I can. Don't want to use my three. Maybe I can steal. Oh, they haven't even started it. Okay. All right, now I'll pick it up. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's good. Purple buff is still up. We're still playing for that. Let's quickly clear this. Don't want to jump over, but I will shard. I'm just completely focused on getting the farm right now. Man, well, we got both buffs. But we also did a lot of fighting. All right, I'm going to do something real freakish. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not going to do something real freakish. All right, we're going to go Sunder. Is that weird? I'm going to go Sunder. So I don't think I really need anything else. If I use Aegis, or if I need Aegis, because I put myself in a terrible position. I think my objective here is just to kill these tanks. So I could either go Blink, or I could go Sunder. Like, I could go Blink to, like, not kill a tank as bad, slash that could be a safety as well as an aggressive choice. Or I could go Sunder to just kill the tanks. Blink, of course, I could use on the tanks. I could use it to get away from the tanks. Or I could use it to kill the AMC. But I think Sunder is my option. Because I'm Uller, who is a very naturally safe character. Okay. A little bit of killage. Dude, I wish I just went breastplate, dude. I really do. <laughs> Man, we're chilling. But, we'll go foul on here. Stick to the build. Try my best to hit these guys, but... It's a tough, tough thing to do, isn't it? Alright, so we got the crit. Like I said, the other option would have been to get, um... Oh, I'm gonna get this. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna buy my sustain here. My other option would have been to get Breastplate, since they have a double Fizz comp, and it would have made it really hard for them to kill me. It also made it would have, would have made sense to go Blink if I were to do that, because I would be able to get more aggressive and feel safer while doing so. So I want more for the backline build path. Like, the full backline build path here. Which will limit the way I'm gonna play, but... Should be okay. That doesn't hit very hard. Alright, so the red's up. That came up so fast. Turk's soloing that, you think? No. Ouch. 
I am taking the poke. Can we just eat that? Got my axe, but. Easy. <laughs> Alright, so I've used all my chalices. It's gonna be a little bit lame. But like I said, bio the wave with my abilities first. And play off CC for other things. I'm just gonna try and grab this as fast as I can. Maybe hide, actually. It'll work it. Take a free combo. Is he tanky? Nope. Oh, that ain't great. <laughs> I'm trying, man. Trust me. Turn in the deeps that I can. Just gotta save this tower right now as the priority. Okay. There's one. I'm gonna back right now so they can't just go for it. Eh, I can stay. They're oom. Or low health. I'm oom, but they're low health, so. Well, we lose one, but we trade one back, and we're gonna get this purple buff for free. So. After all said and done, not the worst trade ever. Especially because I'm not the one who died. <laughs> and I got the kill. Alright, I need to actually leave here so that I can get back and defend and they don't just come back and get our tower for free because I'm oom. So we'll do that. Burn my fail not proc right now because I don't think I'm going to use it anytime soon and I do kind of need to switch stances here. I'm going to make sure I get the speed, because I can't really guarantee getting red, so... Let's settle for the speed. And we're just getting closer to that late-game Uller, where we become ever so strong. Oh, heck. <laughs> he could have singered me there. Yeah, I should have just I'm not even gone for that axe, honestly. Kind of just got a little... A little egotistical there. I also should not be standing in range of the Charon poke. I should be playing this guy from, like, max, max range, because you see how much he pokes me. It hurts a lot. I could have sundered that. Poking where I can. AMC took a lot. Brutal. We got the red at least. Could have been worse. Maybe I can get a quick back off here. He could have got a back off. Or he should have. I guess I don't think we defend this tower. Alright, actually, no. Looks like we defend that tower because he did that. I'm actually okay with that. Okay. Not bad. Take on slide ain't very happy with me, guys. Was that a troll back? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Getting that stinger, right? Okay. We're in a good spot. Take on slide ain't happy, but I don't care. Little phantom hittery. All right, I had a red pot just in case I could maybe have done something there at the tower line, but not really. I think I'm actually going to grab a mana pot. Keep running out of mana. We're getting close to that threshold or it's very bad, right? Maybe this will help. That's the hope, at least. Maybe you can pick this up real quick. I guess I'll grab it. Can't guarantee the red, unfortunately. And now we're starting to get to that point where I hurt, like, a lot. 
getting close to that Titan's Bane. I think I just want to farm everything. Just want to make sure we get everything on that we can off cooldown. And get closer and closer to that Titan's Bane, late game Uller. Where I can play this really from far, far range. Yeah, I gotta get out of range of that stuff. AMC beads. I pop my mana pot. I can chase the enemy. Dump my whole load on that guy. Wasn't enough though. It's never enough. Never, never. Okay, okay. Doing what we can. So I'm never really gonna be able to 100 to zero. All right, Hark has blank. Not having that tower is like kind of bad, but also like kind of a comforting thing. Oh, that was a nice backstab. Because now I don't have to be back to defend so early anymore. <laughs> as long as I'm not like super worried about winning team fights, I think we're okay. Once I get this Titan's Bane, I'll be feeling so good, man. So good. I'll get a Raven Ward to help out defend fire. I got throw it now, actually. Let's see where it's at. And they are. It's low. Good luck. <laughs> Coming over. Bees are down. I jump in for sure. Oh, that is so lucky for you. Nice. Nice. That's huge. Gotta grab the wave. We might be able to even end here. Probably not end, but we'll get the Phoenix at the very least. Use abilities to reset my Uller passive. My Uller cooldowns. Hmm, maybe we do end. Tank, tank, tank. tank. Oh my god. Are we jousting? Perhaps we just jousted upon these enemies. <laughs> well, successful jousting. <laughs> Wait. That was actually full joustage that we just pulled out there. So it turned out that that it turned out that them taking the tower actually contributed in large part to them losing the game there. Because when they took the tower, I got AMC's beads. And then they went to fire soon after. Oh, 87! I think I should be GM after that. Anyway, so I took his beads. They went to fire. His beads were down. I threw the raven. Bacchus got there. Like, right as my raven hit them. So he had full vision. Like, as he was arriving. Which is, it was just like a perfect storm. He steals the fire giant. I think we would have had enough time to win, even if we didn't have fire there, but definitely didn't hurt. Like, Kulu went to do their freaking speed buff, bro, when we were winning the game, so that was kind of, that was kind of wacky. I mean, I'm okay with it, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't think taking the fire mattered, but, dude, he got on the AMC, flipped him up. I got a nice combo on him. He got a pretty decent Karon shield, but then the Kulu got in with a big ult. Like, 40%? Dude, this, this, this guy was probably going bobble last item, wasn't he? This is a freakish build. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I personally am not the greatest fan of this build, and this build is decent, but not my favorite. Definitely better than the other one. But those guys made some good plays, and they were not afraid to get the heck in there and get their hands dirty. And it kind of created just enough room for me to do 
pretty much everything I wanted. I never really had that uh, that feeling of dread that you sometimes get when you're against a like much stronger enemy front line, like player wise, and they're just beating your front line down and you're just doing nothing. I never got that feeling. Like I never felt like, oh my god, dude, why is this Charon and Herc on me and we can't do anything about it? Or like they're not getting punished in a similar fashion. So very, very nice game there for frontline versus frontline. It felt really nice for me. Uh, the AMC, I think, kind of seemed like he was feeling a similar similar way. It was just a lot easier to kill him because he was in AMC versus a lot of hard CCs and slows. And yeah, we had we had good good lockdown for him. And he was possibly putting himself in some awkward scenarios where uh, it didn't end up as well as it could have there, especially during that bull demon pull. That was that was a little greedy. But I mean, then they went for the bag and we were the ones that secured it. So we will take that little little bit of jousting at the end there, killing them all and then taking their Tower Phoenix and Titan all in one go at the 1841 minute mark. But I will take it. Got a lot of kills at the end there, secured my top damage, big Kula wool, nice pockets. It was just like everything perfect for us. Like it was one of those fights where you go on the aggressive when they're trying to make a ballsy play. And they just forced to run and they aren't returning damage to you. So you literally just get to cast and be and do anything you want. And characters like Kulu and Uller, like when you're trying to run away and they're using ults and, you know, CCing you, like it's just like so impossible to get away from that. I mean, there's a reason why uh, Uller is a top, the top duel god, right? He's just so good at chasing people down and winning trades and like, you can't run from this guy. <laughs> he's, he's too quick. Like I was, I was in the Phoenix, man. I was deep in there my max cdr and uh, a lot of a lot of power pen so the rest of that build just getting back on track here would have been titan's bane and i would have finished bluestone there so like even if we hadn't won at that exact point i would have got a titan's bane bluestone spike i probably had enough gold for that after that fight it would have been absolutely monstrous and would have gone crazy and then my last item would have been the old heart seeker like i said i was playing around with the idea in my head of going blink instead of sunder and going breastplate over fail not so that I could not only be use my blink to be like more aggressive or defensive, but so I could use my breastplate to be safer when I'm going in there and being aggressive. Like for example, on the fire giant fight, if I had blink and breastplate and I saw Bacchus get a nice flop onto that AMC, you best bet that I was blinking on that guy and axing him. <laughs> Because I, I knew his beads were down, would have been able to make a big aggressive play, had breastplate, so I'm feeling a little bit comfortable. I could probably kill him before he could even get his Aegis off, because he survived for uh, quite a bit longer than I would have liked. Kulu was able to clean him up with that long-range ultimate, but like I probably could have killed him beforehand if I had a different build there. But like I said, this build is just fine. Going for the, t uh, the front line shred with the Sunder and the, the old fail knot. I was able to clean up who was it the hercules under the phoenix a little bit easier because of the sunder though i wouldn't say he would have lived if i didn't sunder him there <laughs> and it, it also did help that he had a bit of a oddball build there stone of gaia i was hitting him really hard early on like i got a my early kills a couple of them were because he was so squishy to me so he went stone of gaia rush so that's why like i feel like stone of Gaia is a little bit of a troll item you know you gotta be a little bit careful when you're building that guy because Usually not very good. Just a health item, man. No prots. Feels lame. Feels lame. Good meme. And he's got knockups to play with it against, I guess. But, eh. Like, he was just so squishy to me. And especially with that, once I get a lead there, too, and the levels. Feels awful for him. But, yep. Yeah, great game to be me. Hope you guys learned a thing or two about the all Uller. How to play your spacing. Maybe how to not to play your spacing. I was getting poked out a little bit there by the Charon. In a little bit of an awkward fashion but you know i'm learning too so ggs hope you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to leave a like if you did and subscribe to the channel for more and i'll catch you in the next one